Hey, Mozu, I wonder what's for dinner tonight. I hope it's food. Haha, <laughs> idiot, it was you. Hello, everyone. Today we're playing the Universe Sim, where I am effectively God. So clearly only good things are going to happen from this point forward. Okay, I'm no longer interested in the survival aspect of this game. I just want to see how many yards I can get on one of these wing. Oh, I can just drop them from height. I guess I can't really. Here, hold on. Interestingly, my role in this game is to simply observe and manage, gently coercing my people into not inbreeding themselves into oblivion within three generations. And I have a lot of confidence that that's exactly what's going to happen. Well, this looks like the planet on which my idiots will dwell. And if history's any indication, anytime I'm left to manage living creatures, everyone thrives. Absolutely. My very first task is to find a suitable place for life to begin. Now my theory on this is if I put them near food and water and everything they need right away, well, they're just getting handed everything they need. They're never going to learn to survive. So I'm going to put them somewhere kind of in the middle of nowhere. And that will teach them to deal with adversity. I'm already not super optimistic about this colony. We're starting with two nuggets, as they're called, so they're clearly going to inbreed themselves into oblivion within two generations. But hey, who am I to judge? So basically, I just observe from a distance, which is my specialty. And I just gently coerce their decisions along the way. It's just a floating bear in space now. Obviously, to start, they're just very simply gathering rocks and sticks, probably working on their very next building, presumably a hotel. Managed to make himself a hammer already, so he's clearly the brains behind this operation. Adahi and Ilu. Stupid names, but let's not judge them too quickly. They're both laborers, so they're not going to be too bright, but they are going to be hard workers. They have water, they have health, their speedometer is working pretty good, they're moving at high speeds, they're not super hungry, they're pretty strong, so they're thriving already. It's been five minutes and nothing's died yet, so I'm okay with this. Turns out, using our godlike powers, we can make nuggets fall in love, give the gift of love to unsuspecting nuggets. I don't think that's going to be necessary because I've only got two on this planet and if they don't fall in love, this whole thing isn't going to work anyway. And well, frankly, they don't have a lot of competition, so it's meant to be. The stone hut is able to stand up on its own now. Congratulations. You guys did stuff. Look at them. They're already falling in love, smashing the same rock. By the way, the next thing you build better be a church in my honor. A little bit nervous for these morons. I feel like there's a lot more I should be actively doing, but I'm mostly just watching them wander around and be weird. They don't seem too hard done by yet, so we're not going to freak out just yet. If anything too bad's happened to either of them, I'm lighting them on fire and we're going to make new ones. Apparently, these idiots can't figure it out for themselves, so I need to make them fall in love, despite the fact that there are only two of them in existence in presumably the universe. Right, what he said, and just like that, they're getting busy. Pretty sure that's how it works in real life too, at least in my experience, obviously. Well, come on guys, you don't have all day. Spit out some more children. Uh, let's get them breeding while we're at it too. Hopefully not too early on. Because we need more hands building more stuff. I still don't see a statue yet. Oh, they spit out already. Alright, now we got some little baby idiots. This one just looks like a shrub. Already the bickering starts. Dear creator, we are struggling to agree on our name for our little idiots. Eddie keeps wanting to call them something trivial like stick and stone. And I'm about ready to break his bones. I do not care for your trivial problems. Start building stuff. Names of your children are not a priority right now. And if you guys can't get it together, I'm replacing you with something more interesting. Obviously, as the game starts out, we're in summer. It's very easy to survive. It's 34 degrees out. There's no rain. They look like they're getting thirsty, but they'll find some water eventually. I'm pretty sure of that. There was a lake somewhere, you know, out there, maybe by the mammoth. Uh, they'll go find it on their own, though. I can only do so much to help them. The little one's getting away. Hopefully he goes to find the bear. Let's supervise. I wonder if we can guide them. Oh, he is going for the water. Look at him go. He's promoted to leader. I don't care if he's four years old. He's going to lead the colony to great things. Just having a little drink. Uh, so it turns out the little one just caught a mild infection because he was drinking out of stagnant water. So maybe he's not such a good choice as a leader. Uh, sorry, but we're going to have to let you go. And we're already whining about him being sick. Dear creator, my friend is green. I think there's something wrong with him. Uh, basically, they're asking me if I can heal him. Nope. Again, they got to learn to live by themselves. Can't be me carrying them the whole way. If they're not self-sufficient, then what are they? Oh, hey, look, a wolf. Where's that little toddler gun? Hey, we need a dog. Go pet the dog. More problems. I'm starting to understand what my role in this is. Fixing other people's problems because they're too lazy or stupid to fix them themselves. Dear creator, I heard that you have the power to create miracles. Well, I mean, I've been trying to build a hut for Shuvalo and myself. I fear that I've thrown out my back. Nope. Toughen up. 
How unfortunate that Shuvalo might never finish his hut. Yeah, tell me about it. That's prime real estate that I can sell to the highest bidder. You want to survive in a primitive world? Lift with your legs, not your back. That should have been obvious. Besides, there's four of you. I don't know why you need my help to do it. Don't build it by yourself. Ask your parents, ask your wife. By the end of this adventure, my colonists are going to be the strongest ever. The weak ones are going to die in a real big hurry. In fact, I'll be pushing them into the volcanoes to do it. And the strong ones will survive. After tumbling down a hill, Shambo discovered wooden bowls. This will surely help their water storage research. I'm really happy with that, mostly because he fell down a hill. Oh boy, here we go. This water made the first one sick, so let's have another tea drink out of it. Good thinking, idiots. You know what? I'm glad you drank the water. I'm over this colony. Not a lot of brains amongst you. You weren't going to make it anyway. Oh, and yeah, I suppose you're going to drink out of the water now too. Good thinking. What's the worst that could happen? We just got into fall, and this one's looking just about dead if that's his life meter. So we're just going to kind of follow him and see where he lands. I assume after not too long, a berry bush or some mushrooms are going to grow up there, and then the other ones can pick it. And it's kind of like recycling this guy. Nugget death. All nuggets have to die eventually. It can be as a result of old age or some kind of injury. If they're not buried in time, their bodies will begin generating disease. Nearby nuggets will, can become sick and will require medical attention or risk dying as well. Cemetery work. Well, you know what? I think this one's far enough away from camp that it's probably not going to be a big factor. Oh, and you see that? We've already got his replacement here. We got another little nugget running around, so we're already better off. This one didn't even drink the bad water or anything. By the way, I did teach these guys how to make a well. They just haven't really bothered yet. More importantly, this one's playing with the ball though, so clearly things are progressing nicely. The evolutionary chain at work, right here. Elu discovered basic axles while staring at clouds. Not sure if that's a sign of brilliance or hallucinogenics. So are you guys like not building a well because I wouldn't finish idiot stick finish his hut? Also, I can't help but note it's getting cold out. It's only six degrees and you guys haven't built much of a fire. At least not that I can see. So, you know, you might want to start doing some of these things. I'll give you all this awesome technology and you guys just wander around and be dumb. And now the show's getting interesting. We've hit winter. It's minus three out. So we're really going to start shedding some of the dead weight. I can't believe how fast winter came about. Probably because I'm playing on full speed, but I need these idiots sinking on their feet. I'm producing winners on this planet. Not entirely sure what I just did. I tried to connect everyone in love. And those two are certainly uh, getting the idea. But these other two aren't so much. I'm not sure what relationship these are to each other anymore. If they're brother, sister, mother, father. Either way, it's not a good thing. Well, that one's going to join the party. Not sure that's how reproduction works. But I assume because there's three of them in the hut, we're going to get an extra baby out of the deal. Let's not ask any questions further than that. Hey, look at this. Find my lost nugget because everyone else is apparently a little too busy in the love shack. I'm begging you for help. Our family is in complete shambles. Our little baby boy, Hemtozu, was playing outside just a minute ago. I usually have an eye on him, but I got distracted by our neighbor's lizard barking for the fifth time today. Wow, look at all that. Too long, didn't read. I'm sure he'll be fine. It's only a blizzard. Minus eight degrees. We're going to teach little whatever to fend for himself in the wilderness. If he's strong enough, he'll survive and make it back. If not, I don't miss him that much. In fact, I'm thinking about trading you guys in for that pack of wolves I saw. They seem a lot more capable than you. You guys just sit around all day, boning in the hut. I'm starting to suspect why that little child left. They probably couldn't really go in the hut very comfortably. Cat Town? Which nugget named this Cat Town? I'm completely banishing you from the planet. If I find out who that was, I'm letting you on fire immediately. Telescope? What? What's he even looking at? Where'd you find a telescope? And art. Wow, they're advancing pretty quickly. Maybe I underestimated these idiots. Uh, guys, I think your house collapsed. Might want to build the next one a little better. Uh, I'll just watch. Springtime's back. This corpse is still here. I thought for sure one of the animals would have eaten it by now. There's probably also another corpse somewhere out here from that toddler that went missing, but I haven't had a chance to find it yet. Shambo has fallen ill. It appears that they were drinking unpurified water from the lake again. Again is the word I'm a little hung up on here. Did I not teach you how to build a well? You guys just didn't do it. Wait, what's this? They got something on the go. A little family project. But I guess anything really should be a family project considering it started with two of them and they're just inbreeding worse and worse as time goes on. Either there's some kind of blockage or there's no water being pumped into the temple. Well, given that these idiots are still drinking from the goddamn lake, yeah, I bet they're having trouble pumping water. Oh, it turns out I can actually choose to build stuff. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, throw this pointed that way. They'll figure out the plumbing from there. We're gonna have a good plumber after he's done building my stuff. Stone hut is in shambles. 
Well, no kidding. No one's taking care of it. I definitely just heard something break. So good job, whoever that was, whatever that was. I think we're going to put the engineer's building right here, directly up against the reservoir, because I want to see if they can engineer the way out of this situation. Wow, is this guy ever looking old? Uh, make sure when you die, my friend, that you do it well away from the colony. I don't want to have to bury you, and I don't want you getting everyone else sick. Pretty impressed they actually survived as long as they did, considering I just built the buildings now. that should have probably been built for them several years ago. Boy, do I ever feel sorry for whoever has to walk all the way over and build this water pump. Not to mention to connect it to civilization. They're going to die from drinking the water while they're here, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Stone Hut has been reduced to dust. Temple is more rubble than building at the moment. Well, glad to see that engineer is keeping up on things. Given that these morons can't put four walls and a roof together that's going to hold up, I have very little faith that their water wheel made out of stone is going to last for any amount of time or even work again and again and again. They keep getting sick when drinking the lake. I built them a nice well and they want to walk all the way over to the lake instead of taking from the well. So I'm actually going to put another well between civilization and the lake in the hopes that they'll get the hint while walking 10 miles to the lake. Hamtozu still hasn't come back. That was last winter. He's definitely dead by now. Or if he's out there, he's got to be quite the survivor. I should find him if he is. He can come back and lead this colony to great things. Wait, the other one died. There's so many infections. Idiots, drink from the wells. I did want to thin the herd a little bit, but I don't want you all dying. You know what? Now that I actually look at it, we've got quite a few of these idiots running around, so we can lose a few to infection. I don't even care. Oh, and saying that, I should probably find out where that other one died. It had to be somewhere here. And if the body's in the middle of things, that might be a problem for me. I mean, this one's still here doing its thing. Apparently bodies don't go away very fast. So for anyone actually wanting to play this game, start your civilization near water. It makes it so much easier. I mean, I'm getting some good survivors out of this situation, but it's going to save you a lot of effort. Just build near the water. You know, like every civilization ever. You know what's more important than staring at the stars right now? Literally anything. Well, good news. I found where Jerry died, right beside the goddamn well. So thanks, Jerry. Thanks for considering everyone else, considering you died from an infection from bad water. Couldn't have picked a better place. Well done. Oh, and conveniently, how about this? Guess who died beside a water reservoir? Shambo. Why must you die near water, you idiots? You're just gonna infect the rest of it. No, the rest of this place is doomed. I mean, that's not really a big deal to me, but I wanted these guys to last at least a few more years. Can someone come and just roll this, like, out of town at least a little bit? And we're just gonna leave it sitting there like animals? That's fine. I mean, I'm judging you guys, but that's fine. Let me guess, you're about to die, so you're going to go find the nearest uninfected source of water and do that there. It seems Nezizu forgot how a ladder works. They didn't use it on the way down. Well, that actually makes me happy. I wonder where that happened at. Should I go find a corpse at the bottom of a ladder or did he actually make it up? Hopefully he died. That'd be hilarious. Any second now. Any second now. Wait for it. Wait for it. Doing art in their final moments. Bob Ross! No way, we had Bob Ross on our planet. That's awesome. Uh, guys, bad news. We lost Bob Ross. He drank the water he wasn't supposed to drink. Idiots, take note for once. Yeah, clearly you're listening. Check out this skill. Kickstart. Sometimes nuggets need an encouraging kick in the rear to get them back to work. Do stuff. May may not have died peacefully due to wild animals in their sleep. We weren't keeping track. Oh, okay. Uh, apparently the wolves got one of them. Good job, wolves. Hopefully it was one of the infected ones. We need less of those and more of the healthy ones. I didn't know animals were going to be such a problem. Oh, you know what? I suspect it was maybe this one. Yamozu, I wonder what's for dinner tonight. I hope it's food. Haha, <laughs> idiot, it was you. You know what? As long as they're doing this more than they're drinking the infected water, I think our colony's actually going to make it. That's right, my strategy is simple. As long as they're reproducing faster than they're dying, I don't care what they're doing. They're still expanding. Pretty soon they're going to have agriculture and we're going to have some Stardew Valley stuff on our hands. I'm a master farmer, so at that point this colony is going to thrive. Until then, we're probably still going to lose about 75% of them every single day. Hold the phone? Apparently I have telekinesis powers. Am I understanding this correctly? No. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, this is so much easier. I've been waiting for them to die the natural way this whole time. Wing. Where'd he go? Did he go ahead? What? Did he go into orbit? Here, come here. Let's try that again. Not killing your subjects. It's an awful waste of such a Can we plunk him in there? Just Go for a swim. Morning. Nope, nope, they landed beside. Hold on. Okay, I'm no longer interested in the survival aspect of this game. I just want to see how many yards I can get on one of these wing. 
Oh, I can just drop him from height. I guess I can't really. Here, hold on. There needs to be at least one yearly sacrifice. Speaking of which, I just realized what I can be doing with the ones that are about to die. I'm just going to place them up here or, you know, down there. Yeah, that was an accident. I completely slipped. I'm really sorry about that. Oh, look at this one. Good thing I caught you about to die right beside a very important structure. Let's, uh, let's see if whales can eat you. Pretty sure. Yep, right here. All right, whale, eat up. Oh, okay. Well, they just die. Well, that answers that question. We got us a winner. They're almost out of battery life. So there's only one thing left to do. Let's see how much height we can get on one of these. Can we let them go in space? Out to go, the very first astronaut. We had a good run. All right. Bye. Anyone else feeling a little ill? Didn't think so. Oh, wait, we got another one here. You realize how many of these things are almost dead. All right, well, uh, let's go see what else we can find. Have you ever seen a bear eat someone alive? Neither have I. The bear doesn't even want to eat them, probably because they're so sick and weak. I wouldn't want to eat you either. And that's the last thing you're going to hear before you die. Cold and alone in the wilderness. Now I've got a civilization to run. I really wish I had the ability to throw these things around. You just kind of... Like, you can't release them. They just drop. Oops. Oh, no. I can even play with the animals. Flump. All right, now I got to light it up just right. I think the shadows might give it away. All right, here we go. Okay, that wasn't even close. Gravity, don't lie to me like that. You know, can we just grab the whole whale? Give me this. Give me the whale. Nope, no whale, just a rock. Okay, here we go. Plunk. Well, apparently the whale is just off limits. Just gotta find one moving nice and slow. Well, this one's pretty much dead anyway, so... Oh, that actually works pretty good. Due to a falling heavy object, they will be momentarily missed. I never missed them at all, to be fair. Alright, who else wants a large rock dropped on them? Why are you all so sick? Man, I raised a bunch of idiots. These guys can't take care of themselves at all. Well, this will be a first in any universe ever. Death by falling bear. Oh. Well, never mind. The bear just died. Oh, well, I can just pick up the body again. It still works. Here you go. One falling bear. Kablamo. Wow, I'm so bad with aiming with bears. I just need a target that's not moving very quickly. And then hopefully this drops where it's supposed to drop. I can't really go by the shadows. Nope. Oh, I might have lost the bear now. Nope. Oh, wait, maybe it... Where's the bear? Get out of the hut. I need you. Crush this child. What? What happened? They realize that I'm dropping bears on everyone? Man, this is hard to do. Right, well... Since I can't seem to drop a bear on anyone, I'm just going to release it into space. And it's actually going to fall into orbit, or it's just a floating bear in space now. That's okay, that's probably the most productive thing I've done this entire time. I have no idea what these people are even doing anymore. I've been dropping things on people for the past half an hour. They don't look like they're doing too well, so I feel like it's a good spot to end it here. I honestly somehow still did a lot better than I thought I would, so see you next time.